Hey guys, I'm Mikkel. Welcome to Pretty Healthy. Today is Taco Tuesday. Just kidding, it's not Tuesday, but I sure am heck is not gonna wait till Tuesday to have tacos. I say tacos every day. Just swap out a couple ingredients for healthy tacos. Healthy tacos? Yeah healthy tacos. My friend Greg here is helping me today because he loves tacos and is so excited about what we're putting in these. You ready, Greg? Let's do it. I can't tell you how much I love avocados. They are such a versatile fruit and they're even better fried. And we are gonna fry these for our tacos today. They do have a lot of health benefits too. They actually have more potassium than bananas. They are a really high source of monounsaturated fats, the healthy fats. They are a fruit, which some people don't know because a fruit is something that has a seed and the pit is basically a giant seed. But the reason I love putting them in tacos is they can be sliced up like this and they're the perfect size for a taco. So Greg has already started on our batter because apparently he's starving and just can't wait. So I'm gonna help Help him finish that and while we do that, check out the rest of our ingredients. For our batter, we have rice flour, baking soda, potato starch, cayenne, onion powder, coconut flakes, and water. For our fillings, we have avocado, alfalfa sprouts, lime, red cabbage, and radishes. To hold our fillings, we have corn tortillas, and for our aioli, we have olive oil, chipotle peppers, garlic, aquafaba, and nutritional yeast. So Greg did a pretty good job. I'm just gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So I just added in our onion powder and a pinch of cayenne, and here goes the water. Gonna mix out all the lumps. The avocado is gonna go through two steps. Step one is the batter, and step two are some shredded coconuts. That's gonna give it a nice little crunch. All right, these are looking good. I'm going to very delicately drop these in some hot oil, because hot oil can be scary. And I am using avocado oil today because it is a much healthier alternative. I'm gonna batter the rest of these and fry them up. They're gonna take about three minutes to fry, so while I'm doing that, check out my healthy tip of the day. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to make tortillas at home because you only need three things. Masa flour, which is made from corn, so it's naturally gluten-free, water, and a tortilla press. You can find these online. I live in LA, so it's really easy for me to find this at my local Mexican grocer. So what you do is you just take a little fistful of this masa and water dough. About that much should do it. Open this guy right up. You're gonna wanna line this with wax paper so this doesn't stick to the press, but you just put the little ball of dough in there, close it, and use all your muscle strength. Give it a press. Then when you open it up, you got a perfectly formed tortilla. You just gotta pop this on a pan and heat it up on both sides and boom, done. So much fresher than the grocery store and also healthier. So I just pulled out my avocados. They're golden and beautiful. They're draining real quick. So the last component of our tacos is a vegan aioli, which is really easy to make, you just pop everything in the blender and it's done. So what I have first is the olive oil, the garlic, the nutritional yeast, and then the flavor. A couple of these guys. These are chipotle peppers. Chipotle peppers are spicy, but they have a nice smoky flavor, which really gives us a unique taste. The last ingredient's kind of a weird one. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it is aquafaba. Aquafaba is basically the liquid that you find in a can of chickpeas or gobanzo beans. This is often used as an egg white replacer because the starch in it makes this foam up nicely. Aioli usually has eggs in it, but since this is vegan, this is going to give it that nice, creamy, rich flavor. Now we just blend it. Isn't that cool that it looks creamy? All right, and that is done. Five seconds, easy peasy. Now we get to make the tacos. I'm a little too excited. Tacos are a serious matter. All right, so all we do is take our gluten-free corn tortillas. I'm gonna start on a bed of cabbage. I love red cabbage because it's such a fun pop of color. And then, however much fried avocado you fancy. I'm gonna do a big one and a small one in each. A couple of these radishes. And then I'm gonna add a hint of lime. That acidity is nice. Our sprouts. And then I'm just gonna drizzle over our sauce. Mm, I wish you could smell all these flavors together. A little bit of this goes a long way because those chipotle peppers pack a punch. All right, Greg, get on over here. I know you're excited about this. Aren't they great looking? I know, fist bump, right? I'm gonna take a bite. Tacos are not first date food. They're not the prettiest to bite into, but that's what makes them great, let's be honest. See if I can fit those in my mouth. Oh my God, it's even better than I remembered it. I love how there's a crunch from the fried shell of the avocado and the smokiness from the chipotle peppers. It is so 
good. Homemade fried tacos. There's nothing better than that. So grab some friends, make some homemade tortillas, and give these a try.